you so much. And imagine this, students being encouraged to bring their cell phones to class and being able to even stand up at their desks if they want to. It's all part of big changes about to be unveiled at one Pasco County Middle School starting up this morning. ABC Action News anchor James Tully is live at Bayonet Point Middle School. James, there's a method of learning here that most of us uh, have never seen before. Administrators here tell me that it's only being used in two other schools all across the country. You ever wonder why you see your kids play these mobile games like this one? You know, the most popular mobile game on the planet. Just a disclaimer to our viewers, I'm not hooked on this game. I just downloaded it this morning. Ask my photographer. I'm, I'm serious. But it's the reason we play, all play video games, right? To get to the next level. So, administrators here want to try and take that leveling up process and translate it into the classroom. That's what they're going to try and do this morning. You know, Bayonet was closed last year for remodeling, but they're opening up with a new look and a new look curriculum. Learner active technology infused classrooms. Plenty of computers to go around, but teachers want students to uh, take control of their own learning. And that means bringing cell phones and tablets into the classroom, all to assist in this leveling up learning process. Now we're going to take that and translate that into the classroom. We want them to level up. So once they get here, now what? What can we do now to get to the next level? So learning doesn't stop. Learning's ongoing for our students. Now, Bayonet is a magnet school now, focusing on technology and math. Now students, of course, are going to work in an area of study that they find interesting. It's going to help with that learning process you're talking about. But also, they want students to work at a pace that fits them and suits them perfectly. Live this morning in Pasco County, James Tully, ABC Action News. Thanks, James. Happening today, early voting begins in Hillsborough County, the county the first in the Bay Area to offer early voting. Every Bay Area county will start early voting by 